How are we doing folks? Hansley Jones speaking. Welcome to Hit New Hats and Travel to Success. So today I'm going to be speaking about I Love My Poor Mindset. Now an acronym for poor, what a lot of people know about and use, is passing over opportunities repeatedly. Guys, if one of your friends and family approaches you with an opportunity or shares an idea with you and it's intriguing, at least give them the respect, you know, just to hear them out. Let them show the information properly and fully. Don't be ignorant and make accusations. Oh, that's not going to work. Or that's a pyramid scheme. This, that, that. Give them the respect to show it to you. And you can make your own conclusion. Do your own research. But at least hear them out with the, you know, the information they have to present to you. Because it may be of interest to you. I don't know. Because I know it's of interest to some people because they keep asking you questions about it. But they refuse to hear the whole information. To me, that's ignorance. But anyway, another thing about having a poor mindset is, is what you listen to. You know, the people you're around is what you become. Um, you earn five, um, you earn at least two to three grand with the five people you most associate you with. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. No, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, if you need to become what you need to become, then you have to change your environments. And the best way to change your environment it's by what we listen to, which is music. Music has a big influence on our lives, believe it or not. It's all about sounds, the news. Who listens to the news? Who watches the news? Who reads the newspaper? Me, I don't read the newspaper, I don't watch the news because all I'm hearing is negativity. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be a success. So I need to hear success stories. I need I need success in my mind, in my brain. First thing I listen to in the morning, Les Brown. You have to be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Wow, that's powerful. Gets me going in the day. Lifts up my spirits. Wow, powerful. We have to listen to, you know, we are no work, 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 or panda on his dabbing thing. You know, the new generation of music. No, it's not the one. I'm not saying there are some good songs on there. Don't get me wrong. But the genre I listen to, hip hop, rap, this, this, this generation, this era, you know, post 2000, it's not for me. And we're talking old school now, even the likes of like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube and them, and them tunes there. You know, gin and juice. Sipping on gin and juice, laid back. I got my hand on my money, on my money, on my mind. Lyrics, chilling. Or even Lil Wayne back in the day with some of the big tunes, like Inspire Man. I'm talking about, you know, what's the song again? Go Get Her. Yeah, I'm allergic to chilling, I hate failure and I'm in love with achievement above and beneath it. I hug when I greet it, my eyes on the price and I love when I seek it. Nas, I know I can. If the youth can grow, learn to survive so they can gain control. Nobody said you have to be gangsters. Read more, learn more, change their globe. I didn't hear Beyonce talk about them thing there. And they say, you know, being talk about, oh, my single ladies, oh, my single ladies. What kind of nonsense are my single ladies? Ladies, who wants to be single? Guys, come on, let's be serious. If I offered you a ticket on opportunity to come with me to hear some self development live, one of the top five speakers in the world, would you be interested to come? Would you take a day off work? More than likely, the answer would be no. I don't need to hear that stuff. I know what I need to do to be successful. I don't want to hear the rah rah, don't give me the rah rah. I'm going to go to work. Which is fine, you know, because wages makes us a living, profits leads to fortune. But self development is it's important. You think Richard Branson hasn't been to seminars? Guys, it's these small workshops that make a big difference. We don't need to go to university to learn, you know, how to run a business. You can go on a business course for 12 weeks. It's, it's much more efficient and it's much more effective. Guys, we need to expose, expose the youth to positive affirmations. Some of us aim too high, some of us aim too low, some of us don't aim at all. Powerful stuff. What are you going to do? What's your short term goals? This week, this month, this year, long range. What's your lifetime goal? Let me leave you with this. 
Be the best you can be. Greatness lies within you. Success awaits you. Greatness lies within you. What are you going to do today that others won't do? In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. Powerful stuff. Powerful, powerful. As I say in most of my videos, what Jim Rowe says, who I'm on at the moment, wages makes you a living, which is fine. Profits make you a fortune, which is super fine. You can live both fine and super fine. And also, let me tell you this also. The grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. So worry about your patch, worry about yourself. Mind your own business and do what you need to do. Guys, I love my poor mindset. Please, do some self-development. I promise you, it won't hurt you. You'd be surprised what it does for your, for your mind. Guys, if you understand the laws of the universe, law of attraction, and how the subconscious mind works, then you'll think differently what you think, what you say, what you do, who you surround yourself with. When you go to these seminars, you surround yourself with folks that have been there, that have done it, who are on the same path with yourself. All I'm saying is, guys, think about it. You have to be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Empower yourself. Enrich yourself. Be the best you can be. Believe you can achieve. Greatness lies within you. Success awaits you. What's your goals? What's your dreams? What's your talents? We all have dreams. We all have talents. We all have skills that are hidden within us. It's because we're too wrapped up with an 9 to 5 doing the 40 40 40 plan. Please discover your talents, your hobbies. What's your short term goal for this week, this month, this year, long range? With that being said, guys, Hansi Jones speaking. Travel to success. Tomorrow video. Be prepared. Take care, folks.